Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So it has been a while since I've done a full overview of everything in the garden. Now it is December 2nd, and we're still not getting any dropping temperatures. I mean, it's been very warm, a lot later than I thought, and in the forecast still showing two weeks from now with nothing. There's just no chance of any frost. So that's good. Um, that'll give me a chance to get these tomatoes to ripen. You can see back there, that's starting to turn orange. And this is a beefsteak tomato. So all these tomatoes should ripen. I've even got one here that I will probably be picking in the next couple days. So those are doing really well. A lot of the plants have now fallen over and they're, you know, but that's okay. They're not in growing stage now. I'm just trying to get them to ripen. I haven't really maintained them when it comes to trimming and whatnot. But that's because I'm not really worried about disease now because the disease is not gonna... My goodness, guys. My goodness, these birds are just losing it. Can you be quiet? I'm not really worried about much disease here. I mean, I might lose a couple from these branches breaking, but I've got a ton in there and not everything's gonna ripen anyway. I mean, it, we're in December and they're just now starting to ripen and they're slower because not super hot. But I will say in the days right now, we're getting 75 degrees still in December. It's just insane, but we are getting 45 at night. So the avocado plant is still doing really well. Now I'm a little worried once it does frost because they can't handle the frost We'll see what will happen. I'm not, I'm not really sure how to protect that. I'm gonna to try to put it up against the house for protection. Same thing goes with these lemon trees. Now, I'm still getting a lot of yellowing going on. So I'm not sure what that's about. If you guys know, let me know. I did give it some fertilizer. So maybe I'm overwatering. That could be it. I'm not 100% sure. And this is interesting too. This came up but all the leaves are now dark, so like a rusty color. So not 100% sure on that. Now, I will say this is doing great. This is a blueberry plant and they love the cold. So blueberry plants are kind of more, they, they like frost and it's doing really well. We've got a lot of new growth for some reason, even in the winter here. Maybe that's normal. I'm not really 100% sure on that. Looks like a bunch of little buds too, so I don't know if those are gonna be flowers. These are dying back, but you know, they're producing fruit. So I've got, I'm starting to get some splitting. So I gotta start picking those right now. I'll probably pick that after the video. Those ones are a little larger. They're not the cherries. And those are doing really well, but they haven't started ripening yet, but we'll see. Um, but I do have a bunch of ripening now. I've got something. I think they're birds coming in and pecking them and then it just opens them up to disease, but I'm not seeing that in the ones that are covered here at all. So um, it's just the ones out in the open, the birds like pecking. I think that's what's going on there. So hopefully these all start ripening and then I can pull all this out. Next, I've got these potted plants here. These are Parisian carrots. They're doing really well. Really no issues with those. We've got leeks and turnip and it looks like only one of the turnips is doing well and the rest are i don't know um, i will say that the sun when it comes in it hits this side and not on that side so i'm noticing that this side is growing a little better so that could be the issue these got really leggy you can see and that's because they just didn't have a whole lot of sun i really should have had that filled up more and then the sun would have hit that a little better uh, the carrots are doing really well i'm actually going to be starting to pick those real soon. I did pick a couple of them. You can see right there some holes and I made a stew and they were great. They had some real good sweetness, but I am almost on day 80. I think we're like 78 days since I planted. These should be ready to pick. These need a couple more days. It's supposed to be 80 days, but I'm not really noticing any significant size with them down below with the root. So I want to let them get a little fatter before I pick them. Lettuce is doing great. This turnip is just doing amazing. And, but it's funny, it's only one turnip that ended up doing well. All the rest just kind of didn't. There's one back there. 
that is starting to fatten up a little bit. We'll see what happens there. So these just didn't for some reason. This one, there's one back there that didn't, and then all those, like they just never took off. I do have the rutabaga here, and you can see I'm getting a little bit of fatness going on with the rutabaga, so should be able to get some rutabaga soon. Again, this side of the bed just didn't, didn't seem to take off with the root veggies. Onion, which is funny. These onions are doing a lot better than this onion, although I planted this much earlier. So I don't know if they just got too hot and they didn't seem to take off. These are so much faster. Maybe they like the soil better here than they do here. I'm not sure. I mean, it's similar soil. I don't think there's much difference, but um, the lettuce here is doing really well. I mean, every day I come out and they're growing much more. I had just recently fertilized them. I did a video on that. It was like one day I came out and they were small and the next day, boom, I saw growth. So it's every single day I'm seeing more and more growth. So that's doing really well. The apple trees are doing pretty well. I'm having some weird leaf curl issues here. Um, but that's because there was some aphids. You can see there's some on this one, so I need to spray it again. But I had sprayed it with the neem oil and it seemed to take care of it on this one, but I don't know why not on that one. My radishes and turnips. It's funny, I was calling these radishes as well, but they're a turnip. So this is a white, white globe, I think it's called turnip. They're doing well, no significant size yet with the roots. They're doing really well. These though, should be able to be picked pretty soon. These are, you can see the size of that root down there. Um, these are daikon radishes. And so, I mean, I wanna wait until they're a little fatter, like around there before I start picking them, but they have real long roots, real big radishes. They're super good for stews and they're rather sweet actually. Strawberry tower. Now I've got some reddening going on with the strawberries and I looked it up and it can be a couple things. Could be that there is a deficiency in phosphorus. What I read, I've been just coming through and picking off the dying leaves periodically. The other issue it could be that I read is that they're just, it's turning into winter, they're getting colder. And so they're just dying back naturally. Apparently they do that. Strawberry towers seeming to do really well. I probably need to add a little bit more fertilizer, but I don't necessarily want to do that coming into winter. I don't want to, you know, get some more growth. I mean, I do have a couple like flowers popping up and I've actually been picking those because I don't necessarily want those to start fruiting right now because I want them to focus on overwintering and not necessarily I don't want them to think it's spring, which they might, because we did have a rather cold spell, and then now it's warm again, 75, so they might be thinking that. Oh, over here, rosemary plant is doing really well. I love coming by and just smelling it. It's it's uh, it's amazing. I love it, and you know I use that in cooking quite often, especially with stews. If I'm making stews, I'll use these and, and that. So, as you can see. I get these little beans popping up because I had beans growing in here. Um, they were actually black eyed peas, but I had them growing in here. And now I've got garlic and I'm gonna be planting some lettuce soon. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. And it'll be lettuce and arugula and a couple other things. So this is garlic. Okay, I've got th um, two rows of each style. And in that video, if you haven't seen it, I talked about how I got some large garlic cloves and some small garlic cloves and I planted them the large ones in one row small in the other because I wanted to test to see everywhere online it talks about how you plant a large garlic clove you're going to get a large bulb and then a small garlic clove will be a small bulb so I want to see how that works so that's what what I did here so each one of these garlic varieties there's three different ones I planted them that way so I'm doing some experimenting, if that makes sense. And we'll see how these do. Um, not till next spring, though. So I recently planted a whole bunch of more root veggies. See, it's winter now, and we will get frost. I mean, even though Texas is warm, we do still get frost. I mean, it goes below freezing. Not often, but it does. And so I've got a bunch of root veggies. These all will handle all winter. I can grow carrots and probably radishes most winter. Um, radishes are really quick, they're only 30 days, so if we do get a cold spell, it wipes them out, but I can always replant. But really, they they can handle down to like 
pretty cold temperatures. I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but I do know most likely I can grow them all winter. But the carrots can handle down to like 18 degrees. So that's just really rare here in Texas to get 18 degrees. Um, it does happen. We did, if, I think it was 2020, we had a really cold snap um, and it got down to zero, so, but that's rare. Okay, so I've got all the different carrots. I've got beets in here also can handle cold temperatures. It's interesting. I've got a yellow sprout coming up. And I was going to plant all the way down, but then I thought, you know, I'm going to secession plant. So the radishes came up. They're the quickest to come up. And then we'll see the carrots and beets and the other stuff pop up pretty soon. In fact, the turnip. I've already got turnips popping up, so that's good. But it's all gonna be the same variety. So I planted up to, I think like here, and then that's all the different varieties. And then next time I'll plant this, um, all the same thing. So I'll succession plant. So I'll be able to harvest periodically. And then I can plant more right here once these start popping up. Kale and cabbage is doing really well. I'm still getting a lot of bug pressure. Um, we get these little, let's see if I can find one. There we go. You can see that. I get these things and I try to come by and pick them off, but it's it's a tough job to do. Um, and they're just, they're eating holes in the, in the cabbage and everything. You can see that cabbage there is just not doing well. This one's doing fine though. So I'm not sure what that's about, but the kale and cabbage, I'm just doing okay. I've harvested a couple cabbages. This variety is a little quicker to harvest and this one might be ready soon although this one did get some pretty bad pest pressure a lot of holes in it so i'm not sure there we go look at that one right there so that's unfortunate i'm not sure if that one will be edible or not uh, they got eaten alive here so unfortunately i'm not sure i'll be able to really salvage this and if, if I can't, then they'll just go to the chickens, and that's okay. Um, I do plan on harvesting a lot of the kale, because the, the new leaves are pretty good. Um, they're more tender, and uh, there's not a whole lot of pest pressure on those. So I might take this out soon. I might completely wipe out this bed in the near future, and harvest everything, and try to salvage what I can. And then I can cover this for winter. Um, or plant more root veggies here. I'm probably gonna cover it, gonna till it and cover it, put some compost over and let that sit until spring. One other thing I recently did, I'll take you over here. I've got the hose over here because I had to water this, but I planted, I tilled this up. That was a big job, by the way. A, a video will come out soon on this. I actually videoed that, but it, it took multiple days to do this. So I just tilled up a plot here so this is wheat, this is oats. You know, and I thought I was gonna be able to plant all wheat here, but the seed pack, it just didn't have enough. It only had enough to cover to here. And then oats, and this is barley. So I have two types of barley. I've got common and robust, I think it's called. Um, but I planted the robust barley here. And then I thought, you know, I wanna try the common as well, see how whichever grows. So I started tilling this up the very next day. However, I, ha I haven't gotten to finish it. it is a big job we pulled up so many rocks and i mean all these here that are lining the divider rows all came from the soil not only did i pull these up but i also filled up a wheelbarrow and <laughs> just so many rocks and there's still a lot i mean you can see the wood chips all throughout now these are finer wood chips i'm okay with those but a lot of big stuff like this you know big logs big rocks all through the soil so it's been a big job and you can see there there's some right there there's another right there so it's been a lot of work i mean there's a bunch all over the ground here that i've been pulling out while tilling it it's just a lot of work but it'll be good um then i'll be able to use this next year for corn or something because the it, it'll be like a ground cover this wheat when it comes up and it'll choke out most of the weeds, at least in theory, hopefully. Let's see if I've got any trying to sprout. I think right there is some coming up. We can see a couple of these on the surface. You can see that are starting to sprout. So that's, that's pretty cool. 
I'm excited for that. I might not eat it, we'll see. I might just feed it to the chickens, but I'll definitely be using it as straw. Um, let this dry and then cut it. So then I can use that straw on the beds as cover. You can buy straw from the store. The problem is a lot of times that straw has been sprayed with herbicide and a lot of those herbicides will kill almost everything that you grow in your garden. It's made to kill anything but grasses. So it's, it's not a good thing to have, but that way I know where the straw is and I know I haven't sprayed it. Oregano, and it's really interesting. Some of this oregano is getting like darker for some reason and this is not, so I'm not sure what that's about, but growing good. I mean, there seems fine to me. This is from the chickens. I had this in with the chickens, so I'm just letting this um, compost out by sitting in, in this pot. The chickens pooped all through it and we'll let that compost and then I can grow something in there. But there we go, guys, that's the garden. I'll walk you guys over to my chickens. Oh, and by the way, I haven't talked about this in a while. Oh, look at these little doves walking by. <laughs> little guys, little tiny doves. You know, I didn't really get much going on with the corn, but it does look like I am gonna end up harvesting some, some heads at one point. Now this is a popcorn, so you're supposed to let it dry. Otherwise I'd be picking it already. Some of them are way small and they're probably not gonna produce. Other ones are a little larger. We'll see, I'm not sure. It was an experiment, didn't go well, <laughs> but hopefully we'll at least get a bowl of popcorn out of it. If nothing less, then we'll at least have some decent mulch. Once this dries, I can cut it up and throw it on the beds. The chickens are doing well. Almost all of them are laying now, except for this grizzly colored one. Okay, the black and white one. That one's laying, that one's not. One more must be up in, in there. But those two are younger and they're not gonna lay. The other one that's not laying is this one back here. And this is a golden comet. And that's the same age as all the rest. All the rest are laying, but she is not yet. Not sure what that's about. But we are getting eggs every day. There's only four chickens laying. Oh. Got another chicken in there laying right now. So. Oh, that's interesting. That is a brand new one. Laying, it's one of the, that's pretty cool. Hey guys, so brand new chicken laying. It's one of these types and she's younger than the rest, but the one in there. So we shall see. <laughs> the other one's coming in like, hey, I wanna lay too. But she's in there, I'm really excited. That's really awesome. That's crazy that that one is, laying before this one. This is the other one that is not laying, but she's older. That's a golden comet. And those produce like 350 eggs a year. But anyway, that's really exciting. I'm really happy about that. All right, these are the seedlings. I've got Merlot lettuce. I've got prize head lettuce. And then I've got spinach and arugula that I'm all gonna plant in with the garlic. Well, thanks for coming along and this update on the whole garden. I know it's a long video, but I got a lot going on. So I want to show you guys everything that is happening right now. I've got individual videos, short video videos for each individual thing that I do. So if you want to check those out instead of a big long video like this, definitely do. I will link to a couple in the description section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.